Here are five prayers if you are a Christian single person who desires to be married one day. Number one, Lord, help me to pray for a spouse with pure motives. Before we can get into praying specifically about our desire for a Christian husband or wife, the first thing we need to do is recognize that not all prayers have equal power. Why does God answer some prayers and not others? There's many layers to this question, but one biblical answer is that God does not answer prayers that are based in impure motives. Notice what James chapter 4 verses 2 through 3 state. You do not have because you do not ask God. When you ask, you do not receive because you ask with wrong motives, that you may spend what you get on your pleasures. So if you want to increase the power of your prayers for a spouse, the first step is to pray about the motives of your prayers. Confess any sin to God, repent of false motives, and then ask God for a Christian spouse so you can glorify Him with your future marriage. Number two, Lord, please mature me and my future spouse so we are ready to meet, date, and get married in a way that is pleasing to you. Another common reason God often withholds a good thing that we really want, like a godly marriage, is because there is some sort of character defect in us that would cause us to misuse this blessing or hurt the person we are in a relationship with. For example, if you have a severe sexual addiction, this would prevent you from living in the light if you were to meet the one God has for you. Thus, it is possible that God is delaying your marriage until you are ready to live without this secret sin in your life. It is also possible that the person God wants you to marry is living in sin right now and thus they are not ready to be in a godly marriage. Therefore, it is wise to pray for your maturity and your future spouse's maturity. Ask the Lord to make you both ready to meet each other. As Psalms 139 verses 23 through 24 states, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. Number three, Lord, please help my future spouse and me to get out of any unhealthy relationships and to avoid unhealthy relationships in the future. One of the biggest barriers preventing many Christian singles from meeting the one God has for them is that they are in a relationship with someone God does not want them with. When you refuse to let go of the plastic diamond you found yourself, you will be unable to open your hand to receive the real diamond God wants to give you. Dating multiple people before you meet your future spouse is not a sin. However, when you sin and get attached to people you are not going to marry, it not only prevents you from meeting the one God does have for you, It will also cause you to need to go through a period of sanctification and healing after this relationship, thus pushing back your marriage timeline even further. Sadly, many people waste prime years of their life in bad relationships and then struggle to meet a godly spouse later in life. Nothing is impossible with God, but the sooner you get out of a bad relationship, the sooner God can mature you and prepare you for the relationship He may want to give you. You or your future spouse could be delaying meeting one another by being in unhealthy relationships with other people. Therefore, pray for both yourself and your future spouse so you can have the strength to repent quickly if this is happening and so you can also avoid this from happening again in the future. Number four, Lord, what action steps do you want me to take so I can meet the one you have for me to marry? The path to marriage is not a rigid formula. Some people date and marry young, while others date and marry later in life. Some people date and marry a friend, while others meet their future spouse on a blind date. Some people will meet their future spouse serving at church, while others will meet their future spouse through online dating. There is no right or wrong way to meet your future spouse as long as you are not breaking any clear commands in the Bible. The key is to do what God is leading you to do individually. Some people refuse to online date, but perhaps God is waiting for you to try it because that is how he wants to bless you with a spouse. Some people refuse to stop online dating, but perhaps God is telling you to stop looking so hard so he can bring the right person into your life in a different way than you expected. 
As Proverbs 3 verses 5 through 6 states, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will make straight your paths. Number 5. Lord, please help me meet the person you want me to marry so I can glorify you in marriage one day. I encourage you to pray many other prayers that we did not even cover in this video. But the main encouragement I would want to leave you with is that you really do pray. So if you have a desire to honor the Lord in a godly marriage one day, we don't need to overcomplicate this. Start by simply pouring your heart out to God. Just ask Him for what you desire. For as 1 Thessalonians 5 verses 16 through 17 states, Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. By subscribing, you will be showing your support for me and this channel, and this will also help you to make sure you don't miss any of the weekly videos I post every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 8 p.m. And here's another related video called Four Reasons God is Not Answering Your Prayer for a Spouse. I hope this video was helpful. Until next time, God bless.